We're trying to get Finale's human playback to control dynamics with when a sound from Garrett and personal orchestra is selected. It seems to be failing to do so. It's not observing the dynamics as marked at all. So um, I guess that's just the thing with Garrett and personal orchestra. So we're going to go into the MIDI tool and uh, we're going to select continuous data and there's a bunch of options here to select the mod wheel. The mod wheel does dynamics and GPO strings. If it doesn't seem to be working otherwise, you can do that, or you can try MIDI volume. Uh, in some cases, the expression tool works, but here we know that the mod wheel works. So I'm going to use it to get this crescendo in the first bar. I'm going to select the first bar, click in it, MIDI tool, scale. And we're already set for it to use continuous data, and we had already set that to be the mod wheel. Scale. And we're going to go from a nice low value, uh, like say from a range of 1 to 127. We're going to start with a low value and go to uh, 100. Okay, let's, uh, let's see here if that worked. Yeah, it sure sounds like it worked. So now we want to get this 40 piano going in here. Now we can try to drag select a bar. That gives us a whole first beat, but maybe we want something shorter, you know, to get more of a sudden attack. Um, there's a couple of things we can do. We can, um, we can set the vo velocity to the maximum, like or we can add an accent mark, for example, or we could use the MIDI tool to set the velocity at the beginning. I mean, there's only one attack, so there's only one velocity required, so let's do that. Uh, MIDI tool. MIDI tool, key velocities, okay, MIDI tool, set to, okay, we're going to set this to 127, just so it's a nice hard attack, okay, now we're going to go back to MIDI tool, continuous data, uh, control of one modulation, okay, so we're going to let it attack, so let's set the, um, the mod wheel to the maximum also on the first beat. To do a nice small selection, instead of drag selecting, we're going to use uh, select region command and uh, we can go select, uh, this is measure two that we want to select in. And uh, to make a shorter selection than a beat, we're going to want to select EDUs. We're going to go zero through 150. Okay. And it, it looks like a beat. It, it's less than a beat. That should be enough. You don't want it too short because then you won't have enough time to trigger the sample. So let's have our set, set the mod wheel to 127, the maximum. So now we're going to select region, and this is going to be 2. We're going to go 151, okay, right after the previous selection and uh, measure two through beat four. Okay, there's the rest of the bar selected. And uh, we're gonna use the scale tool. And we want to go from, let's see, we had a nice high attack. We want to drop down suddenly. So we're gonna go from like maybe 80 down to zero. Okay, let's see what that sounds like. That's pretty close. That, that seems to work okay. To see what that actually looks like, um, we can uh, click on this. It asks you which data you want to look at. So we show that, and there, there's the graph of what we did. This is just uh, a way of like looking at the data that you entered. Using that little uh, doohickey doesn't really accomplish much. As long as you've achieved your objective, you don't have to go in here and like, you know, look at what you did, and we got the sound we were looking for.